Sonny Moon is a 5'5", 400-pound running back that was involved in a genetic science experiment gone wrong. He hails from the great, beautiful, majestic state of Alaska. His family is full of genetically gifted humans with a wide range of talents. In fact, his uncle is basketball and business sensation Jackie Moon, who has been his caretaker since his father, a crazy scientist Scooby Moon, got arrested after he was outed for genetically experimenting on his son, Sonny. Sonny was young when Scooby got arrested and doesn't remember anything. All Jackie told him was his parents passed away in a car accident. As far as Sonny knows, Jackie is his only living relative. For Sonny, with his superhuman talent and un unparalleled ability. In his senior year of high school, he wants nothing more than to become the best recruit in the country and to win his high school a state championship. For Sonny's first carry of the season, they give the genetic freak the ball. He cuts inside, runs forward, and gets tackled just short of the first down. Looks like we're facing a fourth in Uganda. Our quarterback drops back and looks downfield and hits a wide open receiver in the end. So that's Craig Ostrander. Good job, Craig. Little adversity with the third down. Sonny receives the handout. First downfield and gets the edge, working toward the sideline. He sees the light and whip. That's unfortunate. Four than one coach wants to go for it. We give a toss to Sonny. He swerves inside and gets decked short of the first down. Dang it, dude. Defense has been great so far, but Sonny's a determined bumblebee. He's gonna score a touchdown to extend our lead. In the third quarter, Sonny gets the handoff. He swerves inside, sprints through the hole, and he's in the clear. Uh-oh, bad news bears. You ain't gonna catch Sonny Moon in a foot race. That's gonna be a touchdown for the chubby panda with gazelle legs. Good job, Sonny. Then at the goal line, they smartly give it to Sonny. He gets the corner, has the clear, clear lane, and that'll be an easy touchdown for the little man. Game's out of reach at this point, but we wanna finish here as we get the handoff and get the edge and shrug off a tackle and keep turning along and break another tackle. A big Sonny's gonna get a very much earned touchdown. We beat Janu, Janui, Janu. Nowy? I think that's Greek. 35 nothing, and Sonny played great in his first game of his senior season. Ah, there we go. Sonny's already getting some interest from schools. Gotta keep grinding, though, big man. Draw down the field with East. Now we hit out to Sonny. He works out, then cuts back, working through the lane, and he gets tackled, but he does pick up another first down. Goal line time for us. Going back to the toss. Sonny tries to get the edge and brushes off a tackle like it was an ant and gets a touchdown. First and 10, feeling confident. Sonny getting the edge. No one is in sight. Sonny won't be caught. He's too speedy. That's a touchdown for us. Third three, Coach Oswald geniusly calls a screen to Sonny. He makes a catch and turns up field, breaking a tackle. Get off him, little boy. Sonny keeps chugging along and gets brought down. Another third manual for the squad. We hand it off. Man, coach loves handoffs to the right. I don't know why. Sonny could just walk into the end zone with that hole. Lace continues to get the shaft. Another handoff to the right. Another touchdown for the genetically altered Sonny Moon. The game is out of hand at this point. Lakes can't hang with us, but Sonny has no regard for human life. He gets outside, swerves back, breaks the tackle. People are tripping everywhere. And Sonny's in the clear. Holy Margot Robbie. Gosh, that was sectionist. That'll be a touchdown for Sonny. The players celebrate. I'm sure there will be plenty of lucky boys tonight. Sonny passes the three Benjamins this game for rushing yards and the big 56 nothing win over the lakes. Looks like some bigger schools are noticing the Alaskan bus. Love to see it. After Sonny's performance, our local Alaskan media made a segment on Sonny's great game. He was a happy boy. Now on the road against Palmer, I swear every run is to the right, but if it's not broke, don't fix this. Sonny falls forward for a first down. Fourth than short, of course we're just gonna give it to Sonny. He gets hit, but fights forward and gets the conversion. At the goal line, we toss it to Sonny. The big boy uses those legs for the first touchdown of the game. Second quarter, we got a third and four. Not a typical pass play call here. We smartly hit Sonny in open field. He swerves in and gets tackled, but we picked up the first down. Third short, the goal line for on Alaska. Sonny gets the handoff and plows through the offensive line and gets us a touchdown. Past halftime now, we give it to Sonny. He gets to the right corner and sees light at the end of the tunnel. The chubby chipmunk keeps churning and breaks the tackle to get another touchdown. Yeah, they folded like a lawn chair. We went 31 to 7. Curtis Oswald shakes the opposing coach's hand with a lot of pride in his team's performance. Woo! Sonny expanding his programming capabilities with a wildcat play call. He keeps the ball, cuts inside of a couple of pancakes, and sees the end zone. Yeah, come on now. No high schoolers catching the science experiment gone wrong. That's a touchdown. Next offensive drive, he passes over the middle to Sonny. He cuts up field and makes the defender feel his wrath and gets us a first down. We give it to Sonny at the goal line, and you can't stop the little big man for a second touchdown. Coach calls a four and drop play for Sonny as he cuts to the left, and yeah, that's another touchdown for Sonny. Up 25 in the third quarter, we drop back and pass over the middle. Wise Becker says, get off me, and Sonny's childhood friend is gonna get a touchdown for Unalaska. No team has the dogs to compete with us as we win by 50 over Valdez and show them who's Papa. Yes, good for Sonny. He gets an offer from his dream school, Michigan, as well as Washington and USC, and many other programs are still very interested in the stud muffin. After just four games, Sonny's already in the top 150 sitting at 139 in the country. That number will only continue to improve. Oh, brother. Looks like Scooby got out of prison. At least Sonny has no idea who he is. Not a clue what Scooby will get up to. Let's hope the Popo find him soon. Now we head back home to our 75 fans and play Homer. Down seven to start. This is unfamiliar territory for us. We need a first down here. Sonny gets the right corner with ease. He keeps spraying upfield before getting tackled past the first down marker. First play in the second quarter. We give it to Sonny. He plots through the corner and gets himself a touchdown. Good job, Sonny. Yes, a chance for Sonny to show off his receiving skills. We have plenty of space in open field for the small man. He runs past the defender and is in the clear. That's a touchdown for us. Ooh, yay. A run to the left for once. Sonny gets in space. He cuts inside, breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle. I don't know. He's still up. He cuts it out and breaks another tackle. Sonny Moon, that's the number one recruit if I've ever seen one. What a run, young lad. Gotta put this bad boy away. We hand out to Sonny and yet. No one's denying the genetic anomaly for a touchdown. Another boy's not out for on Alaska this Friday. Sonny had another dominant game as we went 38 to 15 over Homer. Great W for the boys. We play sitcom on the road. Already got a third and one and we need Sonny to convert. We give him a toss. He gets the edge and falls forward for a first 
first down. A Wildcat play call for Sonny. He fakes and cuts through the A-gap, plowing through it, gets us his first touchdown. Looking like another Wildcat play call from Coach Oswald. Sonny gets the left edge, has a clear path for a touchdown. He'll fall like a dolphin into the end zone. Very low scoring game so far for Osborne. Hoping to change that here. Sonny receives a pass underneath. He turns up field to the right, cuts inside a sexy move, breaks the tackle, and earns his way in for a touchdown. Only 22 seconds left, but Coach Oswald wants to run at the score. They hand it off to Sonny. He swerves inside the defender and fights for a touchdown. Coach Oswald lets that post and coach know how trash his team is as we win 28 to nothing and pitch a shutout over Sitka. Yeah, this Bethel team hasn't won a game all year. I want total domination here, men. Sonny keeps the Wildcat, gets the left corner, is in the clear, keeps turning those small but fast legs. Yeah, good luck catching Sonny. That's a touchdown. Third manageable for us. We give it to Sonny on the right side and he barrels through those chunky legs to get his second touchdown. In the red zone again, we continue to play well. Sonny receives the handoff and cradles the ball like a baby. Gets the right corner, keeps running along and breaks the tackle and fights for his touchdown. Yeah, Bethel is awful, man. Sonny takes the handoff and cuts back to extend our large lead. We have another chance to score before half. They can't move the ball. Can't stop us. This is a nightmare in Elm Street for Bethel. We check underneath to Sonny. He turns up field and fights for another touchdown. Players celebrate, feeling on top of the world as we put them down like when Tan Man asks a girl on a date. Maybe one of these days my shot won't be a blink. Definitely a big milestone for Sonny, getting an offer from the back-to-back -back national champs and getting some interest from Big 12 schools as well. Sonny getting a chance to return a punt. He thinks going to the right, cuts back to the left. There's a ton of space. He's in the clear. Just needs to make one man miss. He gets lost in no man's land. It's just a foot race. Sonny, don't get caught, butterfly. Dang it, dude. Yeah, no, you got caught. Yikes. Back to our patent and Wildcat. Sonny has plenty of space on the left side. He sees the end zone. Yeah, no one's going to catch him this time. Good job, stud. Not very common fourth down for the Unalaska Polar Bears. We pass underneath to Sonny. He tumbles through a tackle and barely gets the first down. Sterling stack in the box in their big formation. We hand off to Sonny. Per usual, he has too much speed on the right edge. That's an easy touchdown. A little more than two minutes left. Wildcat play call here. They bite in the fake. No clue why. Need to know Holmes on that one. Sonny has so much space on the left side. He keeps spraying like a coyote with rabies and fights for a touchdown. Back in our mating ground at the goal line, we toss it to Sonny. A beautiful block from our receiver, and yeah, way too easy for Sonny. Up a lot of points. We want to put it away here. Sonny runs the angle route to perfection, catches and runs through the defender like he's a toddler for a touchdown. Little on the lower end of rushing yards for a typical Sonny game, but that just shows how elite he's been as we get the win over the hopeless Sterling Mean Kitties. Finally, Sonny's hard work and genetic luck comes to fruition as he's now ranked as the number one recruit in the 2023 recruiting class. He's also now the top running back recruit ever after that recruiting update. Ah, man, so proud. Of course, some doubters are lurking out there. They're doubting the wrong person. They will see. Ever that dopamine rush, Sonny comes back down to earth, down three in the second quarter. We take the handoff, get the right edge, cut it back, and get pushed forward for a touchdown. Yes, our patented wildcat formation from Coach Oswald. We take it to the right side, sprint forward, friendly fire. No clue why our teammate ran into us as we're going to get tackled to the ground. Little motion here. We take the give, and the right corner parts like the Red Sea. Tim May could run through that hole for a nice and easy touchdown. We want to touch on here before half. Would be big time for us as we go for our angle round. Our quarterback delivers to the left side of Geo for a rare passing touchdown. Man, Coach Oswald loves his wildcat formation. We fake the give, cut it out, and I see why. This play is a cheat code. It's like being an attractive guy who's a bad boy with a cool motorcycle. Sonny keeps running. He won't stop. Uh-oh, I think we're gonna get caught. Oh my gosh, this Sonny. What a fighter you are, lad. Rocky would be proud. Coach wants to run up the score per usual. Sonny can't get hurt. He's got HGH coursing through his veins. We take the toss to the outside and sprint in for another touchdown. We smash with Silla like a stink bug. 37-3 to continue our undefeated season. Now in the first round of the Alaska State playoffs, we play at home against Nikiski. Third seven on our first possession. Our quarterback drops back and brilliantly throws to Sonny. He jukes up and gets hit out of bounds. We run the motion as window dressing and give it to Sonny. He runs through the hole, plowing over a blocker. He won't be denied. Give him his Capri Sound. That's a touchdown. Third short around midfield. Give it to Sonny. He gets the right edge. It turns out for the first down. Same drive here as we hit out to Sonny again. He, of course, gets the edge. He's too fast. He hits the sideline, then turns up field racing like a dang it dude. That guy's a party pooper. We're in some cool formation with two fullbacks. Sonny knows it'll be a touchdown. He just cuts inside with the easy score. Back at our mating ground on Alaska. Just give it to Sonny and watch the points get on the scoreboard. Still just a two score lead for us. We want to extend this Cougar. Sonny sprints to the right, takes the block, and sends up the defender to swerve inside, and that's a huge touchdown for the Cause. Fourth quarter crunch time for us. Sonny to the right side, works up field, tries a stiff arm, but gets tackled to the turf. Trying to milk this game out, just grind it away. Another handoff to Sonny, and another easy clear lane to the end zone. He'll take it with a smile on his face. Coach Oswald smiles, knowing he has the easiest job in America. Sonny had a great game in his first playoff game with five touchdowns and another blowout win over Nikiski. Our local sports anchor, I think his name's Fred, giving Sonny some more screen time after our first playoff win. Thanks, Fred. Round two of the playoff starts off strong with Sonny sprinting and getting an opening on the right side. He keeps turning, breaks the tackle, and falls just short of the end zone. Next play, we just politely hand off to Sonny, and yeah, too easy for him. Goal line time again for the Polar Bears. Just hand it to Sonny and let the five star five star. It's just too easy for the Alaskan bus. Back to this two fullback formation. Coach Oswald loves to run. We get the toss and have space, cut inside, and yeah, easy touchdown. A little less than two minutes left. Sonny runs his route, doesn't like it. He runs up field, and we find him open for a touchdown. Love the improv there, Sonny. Fairbanks the lost puppy right now. They have no idea what's going on. We hand it off, and yeah, easy peas for Sonny. Out of halftime, Coach Oswald calls a run for Sonny. He runs it to perfection, set up the blocker, and sprinting outside. He has tons of open field. Don't get cat, don't get cat, you.
you gotta be kidding me, man. You don't want to see a pissed off Sonny in the C gap. Yeah, no one wants any part of that. Another touchdown, Polar Bears. Players celebrate party tonight, boys. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Sonny hit an unreal 40 carry game. Just a crazy stat line. He was terrific. I mean, it was just a massacre on the road against Fairbanks. They got shell shocked and RKO'd. The state semifinals have arrived against Meadow Lakes. So let's do what we do best. Getting in the big dog formation with a toss to the left. Sonny takes it. Of course, touchdown. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain. First play of the second quarter. Feed the hungry hippo. He wants lunchtime. Ask and you shall receive. We're just suffocating them. They can't hang. We plow through. It just won't be denied with Sonny. He's too big and powerful with his low center of gravity. This toss play is hit or miss. Let's hope for a hit here. Yes, this will be a hit. Tons of open field and Sonny won't be denied his fruity pebbles. Another boy's let out. It seems to be working. I'm sure Sonny will jump in a hot tub and listen to One Direction after the win. Now we're on to the state championship. It's time for Sonny to go super sane in the state final against Wasilla. Fourth down early on. Need to convert this. Just give it to Sonny, boy. We do just that and he picks us up a first down. Goal line handoff for young Sonny. He gets the right corner. Turns it up and yep. Touchdown, Polar Bears. Let's go. Nice little motion here. We hand off to Sonny. He reads his blockers, cuts it back, dry humps a bunch of blockers, keep churning. He won't be denied his touchdown. Our defense is just insane. Sonny must have some brothers on the side of the ball. Third down, our kicker blows. We need to convert here. Sonny catches it underneath. It turns up field. He's going to convert and get us another touchdown. State championship so far has been light work for our comrades. We receive the toss and bounce off an offensive lineman. We find a way to escape and get the edge. He keeps running the sideline, sets up a better to cut inside and get a touchdown for the Polar Bears. Up 55, game was never really close. Sonny wants a punt return touchdown here, though. He hasn't gotten one yet. He fakes inside and cuts out. He's got the edge. It has a path. Go, Sonny. Go, go, fast boy. Fast boy. The tackler can't get us. And Sonny will get his punt return touchdown. Let's go. Sonny played phenomenal in his last game as the Polar Bears. We win the state title 62 to nothing in dominant fashion. The number one recruit will now move on and make his college decision. After a dominant senior season, Sonny Moon faces a tough decision for where he'll go to college. Many top programs obviously offered Sonny in hopes of landing the number one all-time running back recruit. Sonny knew he wanted to have a chance to start his freshman year. He also wanted to get away from the cold. He's been living in his whole life and wanted to live near a beach. With that in mind, only a few programs fit that bill. In the program that separated itself after offering Sonny's lifelong friend Tyson Mobile who got injured his senior season of high school, and they also decided to hire Sonny's high school football coach Curtis Oswald IV. That program was the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. After the decision, a lot of people were confuzzled, but Sonny didn't care. He went to a place that checked all the boxes. And in this case, Coastal Carolina just went above and beyond in their pursuit of the number one overall recruit. Also helped that Grayson McCall is a young quarterback with great speed that could take an extra defender away in the run game. Sonny is high aspiration for his college career and has three very important goals he's striving for. He wants to, of course, win a national title. He also wants to win the Heisman Trophy and get drafted number one in the NFL draft. Sadly, Sonny is starting out at second string. He's behind Max Baltazar. Cool name, I like that, Baltazar. Sonny knew he had to get to work and live up to the hype. He was impressing coaches throughout the offseason, but was still the backup heading into week one where we play the Longhorns on the road. Offense has been inept so far, but Sonny wants to change that. He receives the kickoff, going left. It was a setup. He cuts it back and has a ton of space. Oh boy, the bowling ball is in the clear. He keeps running to the outside, but gets caught. Dang it, dude. Hanging in there just down seven. Sonny is just excited to be on the field. Grayson Fagan, it runs and pitches. Yes, Sonny. He has the ball, cuts it back, showing off his uncanny agility at that side. He gets tackled, though. Sonny isn't cool enough to be on the field in these high stakes situations yet. But Grayson is in command. He sits and delivers underneath for a touchdown to get us a lead. Come on, guys. Sonny wants to party. The ones in Alaska were lame. The highlight was hide and seek with the igloos. Their quarterback sits back in the pocket, throws to the left side. He's short. That's what she said. Let's go. We need to get out of here to South Carolina stat. Great win today, guys. Of course, media freaked out. Joe Clout was impressed by our effort. He was puzzled and thinks we could continue to be a dangerous team this season. Position battle against Baltazar, and we're in dire need of a big play here to become the new starter. Yeah, Grayson doesn't even throw it to us. That's depression. Lost the position battle, but Sonny was made in a science lab. It's only a matter of time he'll be the starter. Back home play in Minnesota. Let's catch another dub. So start for us, but last time it ended well. We run a draw. It's going to Baltazar. He runs forward and throws a defender into the ground and fights for a touchdown. Well, they're kicking up a field goal to get their lead up to six. We're still feeling confident. Great job. Up one. Sonny on the sideline. He can't see anything due to his stats. He has no idea what's going on. Grayson hands off to the man in motion. He runs through the hole. He's determined. He gets his first down to secure the dub. The team is jumping around. Sonny is somewhere in there. He hasn't been able to sleep. He's suffering with drought not being on the field enough. Big reason for that is Max Baltazar. There's no bad blood. Sonny is a friendly and gentle human, but he is currently a jealous man. Sonny has got another shot at the throning Baltazar. Cannot fudge this up again. We run the corner around, get great separation. Sonny makes a catch and gets some yak to help his case and win the position battle. After that majestic victory, Sonny went ahead and upgrade with the hands man to help his receiving skills out of the backfield. Gotta be Sonny's first start, and UTEP is the enemy today. Just give it to Sonny, coach. Do not overthink this. We do just that, and Sonny finds the hole plowing through. He wants his first touchdown. He gets his first touchdown. Let's go. All right, good so far. Would love another touchdown here, though, especially for Sonny. Grayson drops back. He is super
supervision. He finds an open receiver deep on the right sideline. Same with the gazelle. He won't get caught. Touchdown, pretty birdies. Late in the game, we're up four, but we kick a field goal to get a touchdown lead. Just need the defense to clutch out. Just 12 seconds left. Man, this turf is so beautiful. Come on, defense. Oh, yeah. Sacky poo. They have no timeouts. Time's gonna run out, suckers. Coach Oswald is feeling five inches taller in all places while shaking the opposing coach's hand at midfield. Post W. Those scoring game against UCLA now going for it. Love coach's fearlessness. Grayson drops back. Of course, to the left side. and hits Jared Brown in the end zone right before half. They're at the goal line. They're trying to score. Sonny has complete trust in the defense. We'll get a stop here. Oh, well, so much for that. They got ball at midfield. Not much time left. Just can't have anything stupid happen here. Their quarterback launches deep. Not a clue. There's only one defender back there. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's lost, dude. Fire the DC and send that DB to an optometrist. We've given up. We're not even a field goal block. All we can hope for is an earthquake. Yeah, didn't happen, dude. Penguin piss. Coach Oswald has to feel disgusted with her choking today. Would not want to be in that locker room post game. Sonny's a very motivated young lad. He just keeps working and trying to perfect his craft after that sad loss. Bounce back week gang. We give it to the chubby panda with gazelle legs. He bounces to the outside. He's got a ton of space. Come on, Sonny. Get into cyber speed. He's going to get caught. Yeah, we'll work on that. Sadly, I have to settle for a field goal. That drive, but at least we got points. Third and goal. Sonny told our backup to pass on the ball at this point, no matter what. He'll give Sonny the rock. Sonny's open underneath and he's just not passing. Yeah, we got bamboos on the man. Well, at least we scored a touchdown. Not a bad cancellation, Bryce. In their territory again. Really good spot. We drop back in the pocket and hit a man deep. DeAndre Coleman for a touchdown. Just wish Sonny could get in the action, man. Our quarterback sits back and again, it's DeAndre Coleman. San Diego State clearly does not want to see Sonny succeed. They were atrocious. We barely touched the ball this game, but at least we spanked them. Definitely good vibes on the team. Sonny may need to swallow his pride for now, but his time to shine will come. Gilbert back with the news about Scooby Moon. He's still lurking out there. And oh boy, he was seen in his old lab in Alaska. Who knows what crazy and weird stuff he's been up to. Where's Detective Blanc when you need him? Next up against New Mexico. They're also awful. Just hand it out to Sonny and watch a peacock into the end zone. Beautiful manifestation right there. Feed the beast again. Triple option time. Grayson runs past the defender. Hopefully he still has Sonny in mind. Yep, thank you, Grayson. You got said. Come on, Sonny. Turbo time. Imagine the end zone's a piece of fried chicken. Yeah, nope. Foot speed still isn't there. Later in the game, they're kicking up a field goal to gain some sort of hope, but we're still certain this is a dub. Never a doubt. At the goal line, Coach Oswald the fourth must have Sonny in the doghouse. He's not even on the field. Grayson keeps it. He can just cruise on into the end zone to put this one away. Well, at least young Sonny got the player of the game. That's happiness. Well, uh, Sonny just got this Twitter DM. I'm sure he's confuzzled, but Tanner's like 93% sure that's Scooby. By week, so of course Sonny got to work on the practice field. Some guy in campus tried to sell him PEDs. He didn't fall for the bait. He didn't even need them anyway. He's had PEDs coursing through his veins since birth. Big upgrades after bye week for Sonny. Got some Mr. Respect. Love to see that. Also some turn power. It'll only get easier to improve. The better we get, the more skill points we'll get. I think that's math. Mid-season checkup. That UCLA loss was just heartbreaking. We lost every brain cell the last minute of that game. Just horrible timing. Back home and we're playing food. They need to change his name to like Cyborg or a better food like Chef Boy or D. I love the Italian. Had to settle for a field goal here. Our kicker's gotten a lot of action this year. Really glad he doesn't suck. All right, Grayson, look for Sonny first here. He will get open. Grayson steps back, surveying the field, throws to the right side, hits Sammy in the back of the end zone. Would have liked the pump faker said to at least acknowledge Sonny's existence. That would have been nice. Opportunity for the pigskin here. Grayson fakes and gets past the defender. The pitches it to Sonny. Come on, potato man. Yeah, he's gonna get cat. Really need to improve the foot speed. These read options have been deadly. The defense is always in a bind. And yep, Sonny is gonna be the bait. We can get up into the end zone like Tanner and Halloween. It's a good day to be a pretty blue birdie. That's a good question. I wonder if they're related to pterodactyls. Here we go. Some can't catch me, even though it's no speed upgrade. Feels like a scam, but wouldn't be the first time Tanner's been scammed. I can't get over this turf. I don't know if it's because my eyes are blue and I'm biased, but blue is such a pretty color, especially a light blue. Sonny listened to Icona pop pregame. He's ready to get his first player of the game. Grayson runs back, panicking. Uh oh, he's in retreat. He fumbles. Of course they pick it up. Gotta thank Casper for tripping him up, though. So many low scoring games. Coach Oswald needs to fire the OC and get Jackie Moon on the headset. Really need this conversion. Grayson pitches it, and yeah, two sweaty men right in Sonny's face. Every gay guy's fantasy. Come on, defense, please bail us out. They hand it off. We come up and make the tackle. Ball, ball, ball. It doesn't sting. I promise. Yes, we got it. Let's go. Fourth in Switzerland. We need a miracle here. Grayson said he's got it handled. He rivets it to a receiver who mosses a defender. Thank the heavens we needed that desperately. In double overtime, they're settling for a field goal. We just need the offense to come up clutch now. At the goal line, just feed Sonny. The 400 pound zebra won't be denied. We give it to Sonny. He paves his way into the end zone for the victory. The team is bolting off the field with joy. Really hope we have a cheesecake factory nearby. Gosh, man, if it wasn't for stupid Boston College, what could have been? Hopefully we can keep winning and prove our believers right. Ooh, road game against the Raging Cages. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Don't overthink the situation. Yuck, man. Zero points, and they're kicking up a field goal to get their lead up to six. Back in offense out of half. We're determined
gonna flip the script. Grayson fakes to Mr. Moon. It throws instantly to the right side. He breaks a tackle. And man, I wish that was Sonny right now, but who cares? We're selfless. Good job, Sammy. Of course, we missed the extra point. Please make this kick. Do not fold here. Yep, yeah, we made it. Back with ball in the red zone. Grayson isn't scared. He finds an open man deep over the middle. It's Anthony Wall, and that's gonna be GG, baby. The team is giving Grayson all sorts of love. Really hope Krispy Kreme is still open. First top 25 ranking for us. Brady's sitting at 23, representing the GOAT. Got Boston College. Really hope the ranking doesn't get us content. Let's keep winning. Sonny's back there to receive the punt after the defense got us a stop. He tries to get out to the right and runs over a defender. Wait, nope, he fumbled. Sonny, you can't be serious right now. They pick it up. Uh-oh, you better catch him, Sonny. Yeah, he's too fast. Sonny, if I were you, I'd try to hide in the sideline. Just getting bent over. Future performance today, and Grayson is hurt wonderful. Oh, yep, Sonny is open on the right side. He catches it. Beautiful tiptoe. That should be field goal time. We kick it up, and yeah, it'll go through to finally score some points. All right, if we got any shot, we really need seven here. We keep the handoff. This option is so effective, and he's in the clear. He's got a ton of space. He cuts inside. It could drift into the end zone. Yep, all hope is gone at this point. Only thing we can do is make it look better than what it actually was. And so much for that. Grayson got sacked. Depression is real. We walk up the field ejected. No idea what happened today. I think we might have been poisoned or someone sort of playbook to the other team. I don't know, man. Sonny isn't a fan of losing. He made sure to not sleep at all this week. He's going to use his superhuman abilities to good use. Was beginning to think they didn't exist. Finally, an acceleration and speed upgrade. Such a majestic sight. Playing the Owls, we're up three. Sonny's a decoy. Grayson hands it off and Baltazar gets the edge. He's got speed and swag. That's a touchdown coastal. A lot of the squad is bouncing back. We kick up a field goal to extend the lead to 16 at the half. Looks like Sonny's getting the ball here. He's shaking in excitement. Shocked he hasn't gotten a full start yet. Grayson hands it off to us as Sonny sprints forward and cuts it back. Great cut back there. Can't get a touchdown though, which is unfortunate. Time for us to punch it in as Sonny receives the handoff and great block it up front. Thanks, friends. Tanner could have scored there. Great day to be a Chanticleer. Apparently it's a rooster. That's awesome. Roosters can be blue. Man, I love America. Another can't catch me upgrade for us after that win. Definitely helpful to the guys. Last regular season game for us, so no better place for that than our beautiful palace. At the goal line, really hope the defensive end takes the quarterback. Of course he doesn't. Sonny gets decked and Grayson runs easily into the end zone. Really want to tie this one up. Sonny must be panning on the sideline. No reason he shouldn't be in. Grayson keeps it again, man. He must have a monkey virus or something. No one wants anything to do with him. Or maybe he has bad breath. Hmm. Got back down to the red zone. We're kicking up a field goal to finally get a lead. Well, that didn't last. Sonny isn't on the field again. May get Saul Goodman to take this a court. It's unbelievable. Grayson has forever to throw in the pocket. He robs it to Jared Brown to get in the end zone. Come on, defense. No fear. Do not be scared. They run a draw. Yeah, that was a negative IQ play. Someone's getting fired for that play call. Their fans are in disgust. They don't know what just happened. They really need a men in black neuralizer right now. Ever the game, so Twitter users were putting into question the hype and ranking of Sonny Moon. It's still way too early. Can't wait for Sonny to make the haters lovers. Hmm, that sounded off. Sonny made sure to use getting sat twice in the red zone as fuel to the fire during practice. He's just honing in and perfecting his craft. Another speed upgrade, plus three up to 90 speed. Was starting to think these upgrades were only on the black market. Happy that isn't the case. 10 and 2 record for us in our freshman season. Can't be too upset about that. Sonny had a decent freshman season. I feel like he deserved more touches though. But I think Coach Oswald IV is trying too hard to prove that Sonny won't get special treatment. Sonny discovered what Netflix is a week ago and he hasn't been training as much as he needs to. Thankfully, he watched Paranormal Activity and got terrified. He won't be on Netflix anytime soon. Gasparilla Bull against Washington. Good opportunity for us here. Let's end the season with a bang. Haven't scored yet, but Sonny is looking to change that. Grease it gives it. Sonny bursts through the hole, showing off his recent speed upgrades. He runs up, then cuts to the outside with precision. That was sexy. He's in the clear. Just need to win their foot race. Come on, shoot. Got caught. Fudge. Goal line time. Let's punch his baby in. Grease it hands it off to us, and booyah! Sonny glides in there for a touchdown. They score before half, and it looks like they made their extra point, too. Yikes. Yeah, it's looking bleak. Need some magic here somehow. Grayson sits back in the pocket and throws in the coverage. Bad Grayson. Yucky decision. They're celebrating with confetti falling. They shouldn't be too proud of the win. A suspicious lady gave us brownies pregame. We ended up eating them, and during the game, everyone was seeing things. I think they were laced with something. I guess it's a lesson learned. Sonny's sophomore season is on the horizon, and most people expect him to take a giant sophomore leap this year. He knew it wasn't a given, and made sure to grind this offseason. It's looking like we have an improved roster. Grayson McCall back a quarterback, and Xavier Gravit, an awesome tight end as well. The offense is loaded. After Sonny's final fall practice, we got to upgrade Jet Set Go, which is plus three speed, and it got us up to an 88 overall. The anticipation is too much to bear. Tanner's impatient. Week one against food. Tanner's hungry. This is great timing. We've sucked so far. Sonny chose this play. He needs the ball. We run the slip screen, and Sonny makes the catch. He breaks the tackle with blockers ahead. He runs outside of the blockers using his newfound speed, but sadly gets taken down. Had to end up settling for three this possession. Disappointing to say the least. Well, at least we know Coach Oswald didn't hire a new OC this offseason. Tragic mistake there. Grayson hands off to Sonny. We can finally feel the end zone for once. Back at the goal line, Sonny is in the game. That's a scooby doo mystery. Grayson keeps it. Has so much open field. He's got the monkey virus again. Touchdown, pretty blue birds. All right, come on, defense. For the Pangea. Don't overthink this. They throw over the middle. It's a coverage. And it falls incomplete. Great job, friends. The players are loving life. Would have liked the blow That didn't happen, but a win is a win. Ooh, wolf time. Howling, dallying upgrade. More speed up to 96 speed now. Think doggies are wolf's cousins or something, so they're an ally. Week two, we're taking on the miners of UTEP. Coach Jebediah, our OC, just needs to feed Sonny this game. In the red zone, got a run play call here for Sonny. My sidekick powers are tingling. This is gonna be 
be a touchdown. We give it to the mutated hamster. He runs out to find some open space. It cuts a bat, running through a defender to get in the end zone. At midfield, Grayson's loving coach Jebediah's four of Earth play call here. He lofts a high in the sky. Oh, Grayson, what are we doing? Better hope you had. No, didn't happen. Maybe if we had Yao Ming there, we'd have a shot. Didn't seem to matter. They didn't score. We're in the red zone. Need to capitalize here, lads. Triple option time. Grayson hands it to us. Come on, Sonny. Don't let him regret this decision. Oh, yeah. Beautiful run. The Alaska sensation gets us a touchdown. All right, defense. You were clutch against Rice. We need it again. I just don't understand this at all, dude. The OCs of this game just want severance. Just a horrible play call. I'd hope we'd stop that. Sonny's first player of the game. Still feel like he needs more touches. We'll try and blackmail Coach Jebediah. Gosh, dude, Detective Tim man might have to come out of retirement at this point. I'd be creeped out, man. Thankfully, Sonny doesn't scare as easy, though. He wasn't phased. Sonny went back to work. He hit up Eva Mendez in the DMs. We made sure to hack her instant and send him a response. We need his confidence at an all time high. Where has this been my whole life? I mean, get with me is going to get Sonny up to a 99 overall with max acceleration, max speed, max break tackle, max elusiveness. <laughs> feel it can only compare to the first time I had ice cream cake. Such a delicacy. I'm going to spaz. 99 overall Sonny Moon for some reason isn't on the field. Coach Jebediah can suck a goat. Grayson fakes, so the dubs are underneath to Bryce Arch, who gets vertical and runs into the end zone to get us an early 7 to nothing lead. This is good. Nail this field. Going to take a two score lead against New Mexico. They're officially getting the shaft. Good job, team. Sonny is in. He receives the handoff, cuts it back. Man, he's fast. Ah, Sonny, the genetic anomaly, puts this game away. We got play of the game as well. Crappy play choice, but we won't complain. Everyone in practice has been noticing Sonny's massive improvement. Haters think it's something illegal, but reality can hurt. Sonny's been working his tail off. He wants to make his Uncle Jackie proud. Minnesota on the road now. Just found out what a gopher looks like. Terrifying creature. We need to win. Yes, yeah, at the goal liner. Brent Butter read option. Of course, Sonny is the bait. Holy Sacagawea Grace. You gave him the weenie. Let's go. Same spot, same play call. Don't overthink it. Big fan of this. Again, Sonny is bait. Grayson's one on one. And again, he breaks the tackle. He must have listened to Les Brown pregame. He's a man on a mission. Up 10. We're in firm control. Just can't be stupid here. He runs out to the right. And no one is within sight. We'll take credit for that. Everyone thought Sonny was for sure to get the ball there. Great collaboration. This is smart. Don't be greedy. Love it, Coach Osbo. We make the kick to go up 13 and secure the dub. Everyone's giving Grayson love. Thankfully, Sonny doesn't have a sister. Every female within 100 miles is going to try to get with Grayson tonight after that performance. This is it. Biggest game of the year. We're tied in the red zone. Really need to get a touchdown here. Grayson drops the throws to the left. No, Grayson. No, yuck. Not a clue what you were thinking there. No one's going to catch him. I'm just baffled. Grayson better go to the dungeon after that. Sonny isn't on the field. He can't bail us out here. Grayson does the fake. Runs forward and pitches it. Yeah, better be a touchdown. It is. Let's go. Tie game. Now they're at the goal line. Come on, defense. You can do it. They hand it off. No one's within sight. That's going to be an easy touchdown, man. We're in their territory again, but Sonny is on the field, so let's hope Grayson can make a play. He drifts back. Looks like the wide receiver screen is working. Oh, yes, it is. He breaks a tackle and another tackle. He deserves it. Chris can just coast into the end zone to tie it up again. They're in the red zone. We really need the defense to step up. Come on, friends. They hand it off to the running back. He cuts out. Come on, someone get him. He cuts it back, and yeah, everyone's lost. Sadness, Everdeen. Really need something good to happen. Grayson fakes the give, then fumbles. You can't be serious. Of course, they recover. SMH, my head. Might as well throw in the towel at this point. Cue up some cold play, and let's just accept the pain. Coach Oswald shakes it, poses coach's hand at midfield. He's a hot mess. I'm blaming Grayson. He must have had too much fun last weekend. Our local news was going to have a segment on the game either way. Sadly, it was a loss. At least others are confuzzled why Sonny didn't get more carries. It's Rain. A chance for a bounce back against the Beavers. They're undefeated. This could be a good win for us. Third and seven. We'll have a conversion here. Grayson sits back. Just give it to Sonny. He does just that. Sonny runs forward using his 99 speed, then cuts out the elusiveness on full display. Come on, Sonny. Please score a touchdown somehow. He keeps running. Get into the sideline. There's still hope. Come on, Sonny. He breaks the tackle. And dang it, dude. Just short of the end zone. Need to punch this in. We hand it off and Yep, touchdown Chanticleers. This is a good spot. Seven here, we could be cooking with fire. Grayson fakes it to Sonny. He's got some open space. He runs through the tacklers. Jesus, Grayson must have taken Sonny's pills pregame. They're back in our territory looking to score. The Beavers are on a counter thingy. Come get him defense. He breaks the tackle. Bring him down. You can't be serious. Yeah, someone take a pee sample. Something's fishy there. Trailing down the third. We need to get the momentum back in the worst way. We run our triple option. Grayson pitches it to us. Sonny swerves inside and breaks the tackle. You go, hamster boy. Come on, Sonny. Put that 99 speed to good use. Oh, yeah. Sonny is in the clear. The only thing that can stop him is the turf monster and that won't happen today third and long couldn't pick a better time for a stop come on gang they drop back in the pocket someone's open please don't throw it he threw it dude testicles hoping for a miracle those happen all the time just need one right now grayson sits patiently he's got a man open on the right sideline yes please we catch it is he fast enough he doesn't need to be he breaks a tackle jared brown you stood just nothing stupid here we got this they throw deep and no 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 he's wide open what happened someone pitch me please we need casper here well he's nowhere to be found we really lost this dude thankfully Coldplay has a ton of sad songs gonna need every single one of
one of them tonight after that. Mid-season checkup, we're 4-2, and two, definitely disappointed, especially after last week. It's horrible vibes in the facility the last two weeks. Win, loser, draw. Sonny has always worked. Could he's a determined young buck who's wired differently, just wanted to maximize his many athletic gifts. At least we're still ranked. Gonna try and be an optimistic Oscar. We run a stretch play to Sonny. He has a ton of space. He cuts it back, spread through the hole. The chubby panda won't be denied his touchdown. Coach Jebediah has another one of his triple options caught up. These are always fun. Grayson ends up giving it to Sonny. Great blocking up front. Sonny gets to the outside. It runs past two defenders. This is the speed we've been wanting to see. No one's gonna catch him. I wonder how the wind feels when you're that fast. They kick up a field goal to finally get on the board. We're still in firm control of this game. Time is winding down. This one's in the books. Grayson hands it off. Why not, Stat Pat? We have no morals. Touchdown, Blue Roosters. 200 yards rushing for Sonny today. Just a phenomenal performance. Gotta live up to the hype. Home again against the Hilltoppers. Lame mascot. Let's bank him. Up three before half, but we make a field goal to extend our lead to six. The ball's literally in the end zone. Somehow it's not a touchdown, but whatevs. We run the trap play and Sonny bursts through the hole like Thomas the Choo Choo Train for a touchdown. Great performance today for us. Let's put the stamp on it. Sonny's used as bait and Grayson glitches through a defender. That was weird. Who cares? Touchdown time. Everyone's at midfield. Coach Oswald much prefers to be on the winning side. He was a bouncer before coaching. He loves the movie Roadhouse. I just can't even Gilbert. It's a real life game of Where's Waldo. It's Scooby is clearly winning at the moment. He could be in Iceland or Denmark or Finland anywhere. Thankfully, Sonny has the faintest idea. We got some beef mode for Sonny getting a stiff arm and strength upgrade. We'll definitely take those. Went back to work on the practice field. Sonny's favorite song was Sanguine Paradise. Then he found out Lil Uzi likes the mean guy with red horns. His new favorite song is Beauty and a Beat. He's a believer. Play in Appalachian State. Since 2007, they've been an enemy. We cannot lose. They're at the goal line. Would love a stop here defense. Their quarterback drops back, then steps up and runs. Yeah, he's gonna score. At least I think. Yeah, that was weird. Triple option time with Grayson. He pitches it to Sonny. He's got a ton of space to operate with. He runs toward the defender, then breaks out. That was impressive. He keeps turning down the sideline. He won't score a touchdown, but it was still a cool play. Looks like he scored a touchdown on that drive, too. That's happiness. Trailing again, but we're in their territory. Sonny's open, but Grayson doesn't care. He instead throws a touchdown to the corner route. It's Jared Brown. Love to see it. All right, for once in an advantageous spot, let's get seven. We run a counter. Not a clue who that running back is, but I wish it was Sonny. He cuts and picks up a block. Yeah, he's gonna score. Sonny is officially a jealous man. Down the field once again. Gonna throw hands with Coach Jebediah post game. Grayson keeps the option. He's running weirdly like it's a piece of bread and ends up pitching it to Bryce Archie. Yeah, more jealousy is imminent. He's gonna score. We won the game. Everyone's celebrating. It's great vibes like an escape room. Detective Tanner never loses those. Went back to work on the practice field. Sonny sweats a lot. One of the few side effects of being a science experiment. Little elf upgrade. This is juicy. Route running, catching, agility. All very much needed and appreciated. That's awesomeness. Yes, Sonny's been waiting for a big time school to play. He took extra testosterone and HGH pregame. We're ready. In the red zone. Really want to get an early lead here. Grayson takes the direct snap. It runs through the gap. Man, he's fast and powerful. Run it through a defender. That gets the boys rowdy. Really far kick. Hopefully they shank it. They kick it up. Man, he's got a leg and accuracy. It's going to go through, man. Yikes. Third down. Sadly, Sonny's going to be blocking, but he'll take one for the team. Grayson sits calmly. Of course, it's a Chris. He's got some serious speed. Yeah, he won't get caught. That was impressive. We'll take it. Well, they scored a touchdown. I got a two point conversion to tie the game. So, yeah, we blew that. Over time, we have to sit over a field goal. Doesn't exactly give Tanner much hope. First and goal. It's like a dim. Someone make a play. Sonny throw a boomerang and hit their quarterback if you have to. They snap it. Never too late for the boomerang, Sonny. Their quarterback steps up and starts running. Come down defense. They break a tackle. Yeah, how wonderful. Ugh, pain exists. Sonny channeled his pain and anger to practice for this week. The loss is really eating at the kid. Constantly getting upgrades. Sonny's far from content. Plus two agility and plus two juke move. Really helpful to the cause. Another SEC school. They're at our goal line. Really need the defense to lock it down here. Please. They hand it off. Bounce off a blocker. And yeah, he's in the end zone. That's rather unfortunate. In their territory now. We need seven. Come on, lads. Grayson uses Sonny as bait. Then pitches it to another running back. He sprints forward. Then throws a defender into the turf. Love to see it. Touchdown, Coastal. Finally, a run without an option attached to it. This is all for Sonny. He takes the handoff. and has a gaping hole. He runs through it. Showing off his speed. That sets up the defense to cut it back. He's in the clear. You go, Alaska Sensation. Do not let yourself get caught. He won't let it happen. Out of way, Sonny, you stub muffin. Back to our triple option funk. Coach Jebediah is infatuated with it. It's Sonny's turn. Grayson has the bait. He runs up the middle, showing off his speed once again. Then cuts to the right. He runs through a tackler. Man, this kid is special. That's a touchdown. Shana clears. We're up three. They have no timeouts. All we need is a first down here. Come on, boys. Yes, just give it to Sonny and let him pave the way. He runs to the outside. That'll be a first down. That's a relief. The offensive line is giving Grayson props. I still blame him for that West Virginia loss, but that's the pass. I'll keep trying to move on. Another 200 plus yard game for Sonny. He should touch the ball at least 20 times a game. Who knows with Coach Jebediah, though. Sonny opened a lot of eyes on Twitter after that performance. Starting to think Coach Jebediah is an op. Back home for our final regular season game against Vandy, our third SEC game this year. In this wanky dinky formation, not the slightest idea what's going on. Grayson ends it off, and Sonny instantly cuts it back. He's got a gaping hole. He's running like someone stole his crunch bar. He cuts to the right side and picks up a block. That was a million IQ play and outruns a tackle. That's going to be all she wrote. What a run for the chubby panda with gazelle legs. Still got our touchdown lead, but after this nice pooch, our lead is now up to 10. Our defense has been spectacular. Great job, guys. Sonny takes a gift from Grayson. Manny accelerates fast. It's like I'm driving one of those fast cars. No idea what just happened. Somehow got past that guy. And oh, yeah. There goes that man. The Alaska sensation. Sonny Moon. He will not get caught. Back in the red zone. Sonny's feeling it. Just feed the beast. He runs to the outside. Sets
such great blocking. Good job, friends. He just keeps running to the corner, and Al angles the defender to somehow get in the end zone. That angle was cool. Albert Einstein would be proud. Who else would win player of the game? Sonny Moon, almost three Benjamin Franklins. Girls are going to be flocking to him like sheep tonight. Just a fantastic season for Sonny. 9.3 yards per carry. Coach Oswald better give Coach Jebediah the axe this offseason. It's a disgrace that Sonny didn't get more touches. So close to finishing first in the nation in rushing yards. We'll blame Coach Jebediah for that, too. As a team, though, we finished 9 3 this season. I have an excuse for every single game. It's some alternate reality. We finished 12 0. Let's just pretend that's the one we're in. Before our bowl game, Sonny had exams. Thankfully, his IQ of Stephen Hawking and Isaac Newton put together thanks to the science experiment. Really happy Scooby did that for us. Being smart is something Tanner won't ever experience. He can only dream of what it's like. Big upgrade here after the bowl game practices. Some epic a -thon to help reduce injury, which won't ever be a problem for Sonny. Better safe than sorry, I guess. It's stamina as well. Definitely needed that. He pants like a pig on those long runs. Also, some I can catch too. I mean, Sonny is really trying to become versatile out of the backfield, catching and running. They're six and six. The bull people should be ashamed matching us up with them. Let's give them the corn dog. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop at the goal line one of these times. Well, won't be this time either. Now we're at the goal line. Don't overthink this. Yep, easy peasy for Sonny Moon. This is helpful. As long as we make it, it looks like we will. We'll gladly take a three point lead. Well, Tanner was never good at trash talk. Haven't been able to back it up. At least it's within one now. Five seconds left. We've done this before. It's just the defense gave him a touchdown with no time left, so it negated our miracle. Time is winding down. Yeah, it's official. Coach Jebediah is getting canned, man. Just pitiful. Their coach gets hoisted up. We lose another bowl game. Not exactly a good trend. Another sad loss to end the season. After Sonny's sophomore season, they took it up with Coach Oswald in a top secret meeting to ensure that Coach Jebediah did in fact get canned and get his OC duties relinquished. It was a nationwide search for the position, and a higher Coach Oswald couldn't afford to fudge up. Ultimately, these were the final three candidates. In the end, due to him being the only logical candidate, Coach Bourne was our new offensive coordinator. Sonny was ecstatic about the news, considering all the buzz he's been getting this offseason. He's third in the offseason Heisman odds, and early on is a projected top five pick in the NFL draft. It's clear Sonny is regarded as one of the top players in college football, as he's also a preseason second team All American. He made sure to grind hard this offseason to ensure he lives up to the hype. Good news is that he just watched Rocky for the first time. His motivation to be great is at an all time high. Grayson is still going to share the backfield with Sonny. He's also a stud. Sadly, the defense is absolutely horrid. We'll need the offense to carry big time this season. We surely aren't easing our way into the season. We play the third ranked Gators in the swamp week one. We're ready for war. For some reason, we watched Insidious pre game, but it looks to be working. Their quarterback starts running around. He's a fast cougar. No one's even close. So glad in the end zone. Shoot. Only nine seconds left before half. Let's make something happen here, boys. Busted coverage on the right side. A man is open deep. Oh, yeah, Grayson. Absolute beautiful throw to Jared Brown. What a connection those two have. Let's go, Boo Roosters. Negative cooler. Our defense is playing so well. Hope that's a trend this year. Triple option thingy from Coach Bourne. We take the give and have a late. Sonny burst through fast, boy. That's going to be a touchdown. Man, we came to play today. We aren't scared of the water. Love to see it. Their quarterback retreats to the pocket. It's a screener. We're all over. He throws in the coverage. Of course we dropped it, but it doesn't matter. Fourth down, baby cakes. We can take a knee in the swamp. Sonny's talking trash to the Gators. They're just taking it. They know they can't talk back. The team is celebrating. Just a wonderful time to be ashamed to clear. It's just like Happy Gilmore's happy place. Man, is it a great weekend. No one saw us coming at all. College football's in flames over our upset win. Now back to Happy Gilmore's happy place. Boston College shafted us last year. We need revenge, boys. Low scoring game, but we have faith in the defense right here. The quarterback launches in the end zone. I don't think it's open. Well, doesn't matter what Tanner thinks. Yuck. All right, let's tie this baby up before half. That is the game plan. Grayson says delivers to the right side. No, Grayson, no. Negative IQ throw right there. Grayson must not have slept well last night, man. Quite a hole here for us to dig out of, but Sonny hasn't lost hope. Grayson keeps the fake. Love it. Everyone went for the chubby panda boy. He's in the clear. Two great blocks. One of them by Sonny. Grayson showing off his speed. That's a very much needed touchdown. Need this two point conversion. Coach Bourne isn't overthinking it. Give it to Sonny, and yet, easy peasy. There's still hope. Fourth and six. Grayson, you might have sucked earlier, but we need redemption right now. Yeah, it didn't happen at all. The Red Eagles are a kryptonite. I can't explain it. We need Detective Sherlock. Sonny channeled his anger and disappointment to the practice field. Just continue to improve. That's the goal. Wash him off. Everyone loves showers. Some juke moves, spin move, and agility upgrades right there. Really need a bounce back win here. We're at the goal line. Grayson keeps in. Yeah, Sonny's a masturbator. Everyone falls for him. Touchdown, pretty blue birds. Defense has really been great today. I thought it'd be more of a weakness up to this point. Grayson does a pump fake thing. And the DB falls for it. He must feel dumb. Zach Horn is going to have the easiest touchdown of his life. Looks like they'll finally get on the board. That has to be a relief. No reason we should ever shut anyone out. Do not like this at all whatsoever. They have a chance to tie here. Let's go, defense. They give us a taste of our own medicine. No one realized their quarterback has the ball. Yeah, that's uh, sadness. That's a relief. We're at the goal line. Great situation for us. We give it to Sonny. He uses his speed to get the corner that swerved inside. Being agile must be so fun. Sonny got play of the game. We really avoided a disaster that game. It wouldn't have been the first time we choked a game, though. Sonny is continuing his grind. He just found out there's more than one Rocky movie. He's like a little calf in a large farm just wandering the world. This is clutch. Gonna have max stamina for Sonny. He could run a marathon. Doubt it be by choice, though. I've always been confused why people run marathons for fun. The day running is fun as the day ice cream tastes bad. Pullman are pretty terrified. We're playing at FCS school. Time to give them the weenie. Early lead for us, but Sonny is far from satisfied. Grayson gives it to Sonny, who cuts it back. Fast boy. He keeps running. Going out of the right side. And outruns the defender. He's officially in the clear. No one will catch that man. No huddle. I like this wrinkle, Coach Bourne.
Thorn? Good question. Any relation to Jason? Trap play for Sonny. It's a gaping hole. Don't give him space. He veers off and cuts to the left side. Another foot race. This is Sonny's specialty. It used to be a weakness, just like a mutated octopus with a hundred tentacles. You won't catch him. Touchdown, Sonny Moo. Time winding down before half. Nothing to lose here with a run play call. Sonny cuts it inside through the gap. Runs toward the defense and cuts to the right. A guy's on him. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, but who cares? The Alaska sensation won't be cut. Man, this is fun. Give it FCS Midwest a spanking. This is how it should be. Sonny takes the handoff and cuts out to the right. He's got some open space. The defense is trying to close in. He swerves inside. That was slick. I just can't, man. This kid is phenomenal. I wish I could do all this. Just a dominant game. Let's put the nail in the coffin here. Sonny runs over the middle, butt naked open. That's a touchdown. Great way to end the game. Sonny played possessed. Must have been the chocolate milk he drank pregame. Gosh, well, at least we know Sonny has at least one supporter, albeit a very mysterious one. Finally, an NCAA player of the week. Mom would be proud, but Sonny doesn't have one of those. Maybe when he has millions of dollars one day, someone will adopt him. Another yucky team, and we're at home. We better win this, guys. No pressure. No points. Yeah, I hope that changes here. Love this trap play. It's always so effective. He swerves to the right, runs hard in the pile, and keeps driving his legs again in the end zone. Back at the goal line, love Coach Bourne just feeding the beast. Sonny is always a hungry boy. He just ran straight ahead into the end zone. Touchdown, Mr. Moon. Things continue to go handsomely. Another trap play call. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sonny cuts it back. Sign off a blocker. Maneuvers his way into the end zone. All the way around. Great performances. Cannot complain. Another trap play. Sonny takes it, cuts it back, and breaks the tackle. That was a cool animation. That puts this one away. Everyone jumping around with joy. After the win, Coach wants to have a roadhouse watch party. Sonny is definitely going. Clyde slide. No clue Clyde is, but we get plus four catching, a plus four spec catch, so I'm thankful for Mr. Clyde. Sonny has officially moved up to number two in the Heisman rankings. Just keep doing what we're doing, and he'll be number one in no time. In the red zone against New Mexico, running the stretch play, Sonny runs through the huge lane. Great blocking for Eds. He gets a corner. Yeah, so long, Lobos. Touchdown, Coastal. This is why we hire Coach Bourne. Just like Jason, he isn't afraid. They have to be related. I'm convinced. Draw play. Sonny takes the give, send up left, and cuts it back to the right. Sonny's a finesse. He keeps running, man. Those little legs are moving fast. That'll be another touchdown for us. Back in the money zone. We're a little motion thingy. Sonny is trailing Grayson. He pitches it. Oh, yeah. We have space. This is good. Sonny sets up the defense, cutting back and sprinting into the end zone. Feeling great. The team had their Frosted Flakes pregame. It's been effective. Sonny runs the stretch play. And he's got space. He flourishes in space. He swerves it back inside. Then swerves it back outside. No forager pound human should be able to do that. If there was any doubt, he's a science experiment. That is long gone. He's going to score another touchdown. Game over. It's a great day in Conway. The beach is nearby. Unlimited possibilities post game. Hopefully, Sonny can swim with the Dolphins. Defense has been shockingly impressive. That loss to our kryptonite, though, is going to live in my nightmares. Sonny is a man that's always working. That isn't changing today. He's a man on a mission. Playing the U on the road, they have a pretty stadium. Big opportunity here for Sonny. Turns out they're one and three, so they suck. Not the ideal scenario. They run a quarterback thingy. The defense is spook. Come on, boys. He breaks the tackle, then another tackle. I have no idea what's going on. That was incredibly disheartening. First pull out of half. Coach Bourne said this could be a touchdown. Let's prove him right. We take it and cut it back to the left. Sonny gets the outside. He's got the speed. Everyone knows that. Just gonna show the U. Oh, yes, Sonny. You genetic anomaly. He outruns a tackler, and yeah, kiss him goodbye. Add another long touchdown to the season. We're in a fantastic spot with time running down. We've choked this before. Just can't have it happen again. Trap play called. Sonny, a little boy's a defender running forward, then out to the left. He's determined. What the what just happened? Sonny Moon, you bowling ball. That was cool. Six seconds left. We screwed the pooch before. I can't do it again. They launch it deep. Oh, boy. Deja vu. Only two guys back there. Oh, look, they're flying. Yeah, man. Just give me the guillotine at this point. Same story, different book. Field goal here. Please, defense, save us. They're at the one yard line. Whoever makes a play and saves us gets a Twinkie. They hand it off. No one's within sight. Should have had a better reward, man. Twinkies are overrated. It's like listening to Marvin's room on repeat at this point. Somehow dropped out of the top five for this mock draft. The smart NFL people must not have watched any college yet. I don't know. That's confuzzling. We better not lose this. We've played some really sucky teams this year. Grayson gives us the rock. Sonny bounces off a blocker and can go ahead and skate into the end zone to get us an early lead. Third, seven, four, Vert's play call. Don't hate it. Grayson sits back and corks it over the middle to Sonny. Man, this kid has evolved like a crocodile. He could catch two. What a player. Our bread and butter trap play call from Coach Bourne. Sonny cuts it to the left and shrugs off a tackler. Oh, yes. Great blocking. He's got plenty of blue grass ahead. It's a foot race. We know he's winning this. Wonder what his 40 time is now. Maybe four twos? I don't know. Still in firm control of this one. Sonny snuck a connect for us, sat on the sideline. He's been playing every chance he gets with his old pal Tyson Mobley. Grayson does his thing and pitches it. He's good at it. Lots of practice. No one is in sight. It'll be another long touchdown run for Sonny. Back with the triple option stuff with a three touchdown lead. Grayson does his pitch thing again. So effective. Just give Sonny open space and watch a good fly like an astronaut. Wait, I just confused myself. Aren't astronauts slow because of gravity stuff? Yeah, that's a touchdown. So awesome. I mean, it's simply unfair. Coach Jebediah is probably in Zimbabwe. He'll have zero luck with ever getting another OC job. Yep, Sonny's turned a lot of heads after his continued dominance. He's got some fans, but he's got to keep doing his thing. Don't think that's a word. Bead with a D. Maybe that's Latin or Hebrewish. Either way, improvements in carrying, trucking, and agility. Back in SEC territory, tied at zero early on. Grayson is running around out of the pocket. He's got plenty of space. Great blocking from the receivers. Is he fast enough? Oh, yes, Grayson is. Touchdown time. Let's go. Still on top of the Rebels. Loving how we're playing. Grayson lasers it to the left side. Chris breaks the tackle. Get off him, though, boy. You go, Chris. He burst off into the end zone. Well, they scored, and they're going for two. Would be clutch if we could get a stop.
stop here, defense. They hand it off. No resistance at all. Just way too easy, man. All right, Sonny, let's put the team on our back and ride us off into the dub. Sonny gets the handoff, and there's a defender. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. Uh-oh. They drove down the field. Not even in field goal block again. We need Zeus to help us out. Well, so much for that. Ugh, man, we just love to lose games we shouldn't lose. We're choke artists. Not a nickname to be proud of at all. Sonny hates losing. He just got a punching bag in his dorm. Taking further inspiration from Rocky, he just had to let out some anger. Tons of XP points. We upgrade some agility and also some catching as well. Just continuing to expand Sonny's game. Sitting at the top spot in the Heisman rankings, Sonny's getting all the public press. His tenure's been full of girls swiping right on him. He's big man on campus. Another school, the Raby Turkeys. We're at home. Time to add to our Heisman campaign. Hmm, not a fan of this so far, but it's premature. Things can change in a hurry. Sonny is calling for the ball. He gets it and just zooms into the end zone like a squirrel for a touchdown. Tight game here. Got a run called out for Sonny. He's excitement. Grayson hands it off. Yeah, way too big of a hole. The chipmunk boy gets another touchdown. The rabies turkeys won't go away. Sucks for them. Sonny's immune to rabies. Sonny uses his supervision and runs out to the corner. He just keeps sprinting. Don't run out of bounds, Sonny, you silly boy. He cuts vertically and puts on the burners. Those little legs are moving very fast. He won't be cut. Touchdown, Shannon clears. We're just trading shots back and forth. Another run for Sonny. He's a pissed off boy. He does a spin thingy on a defender. Ballerina time. No clue how he just scored right there. That was cool. Please, defense. One of these times be clutch. They drop back, sit in the pocket, and throw into the end zone. We're right there. Yeah, just lost. They don't know what's going on. We just need seven guys. Please win one of these overtime games. Grayson fakes the option, runs, then pitches it to Sonny, and he instantly breaks the tackle. Come on, Sonny. Do it yourself. He's trying to get the corner. Come on, Sonny. I think we got it. Yes, we do. Thank you, Sonny. You godsend. We're showing the fans love. Finally won an overtime game. There's a Taylor Swift concert tonight. We need to leave the stadium stat. Well, uh, that can't be good. Was hoping he was in Pakistan or something, but no, he just watched Sonny ball it against the Gamecocks. You will be found, Scooby. Some more agility for Sonny, up to 97. They're just adding more cheats to the cheat code. I think that's how that works. Sonny's officially achieved the school record of rushing yards in the season, and we still have three games left. In the school record for Coastal Carolina in rushing yards in a career, two massive milestones for Sonny. A statue better be built or we're going to court. Holman or Castle play Miami of Ohio. Let's keep balling. Tied game, but it's early. We have a run called up for Sonny. He's itching to touch the ball. Sonny takes the handoff, ends up cutting off to the right. Uh-oh, there's a defender. Sonny breaks the tackle. Get off him, little boy. Sonny's officially in the open. No one's gonna bring him down. Touchdown, Shannon clears. Back in the red zone, third down, but Coach Bourne has a run called for Sonny. Draw a play call, and Sonny sees the light at the end of the tunnel. He gets out to the left. No one's even close. He's gonna score. Good job, Sonny. We're facing another third down. Sonny runs a shake and bake round. Gets wide open, catching it, then bursting upfield, running away from the defender. He's got the speed and angling IQ. Nice job, Sonny. At the goal line, Sonny's trying to keep his Heisman spot. Feed the hungry hippo. He takes the handoff. Just pristine blocking up front. Thanks, friends. Awesome blocking. Easy touchdown. Only thing that can make this day better is a siesta and a hot tub for Sonny. We're only like 200 ish yards away from the single season rushing record now. We have two games left to make it happen. If Sonny gets hurt, it's a conspiracy. Ain't sure to get extra work. He wants to break the record and further his case for a statue being built. Very fitting upgrade here. Heisman time for Sonny getting a stiff arm and strength upgrade to help him out. Final regular season game on the road in Alabama. Anything goes. Sonny's hoping the rumors aren't true here. We're not in the field for reasons unknown, but Grace Cave said, oh yeah, not a soul in sight. Grace is going to score. Thank you, General. Haven't scored since. Not good in any way. Grayson is the fake thingy again. Sonny is on the field. Yeah, that's great. Add away, Grayson. They're going to recover. And of course, things are looking dark. We can still tie the game. Sonny's finally on the field for once down here. Grayson fakes and it keeps it. Grayson, oh my gosh. Send him back to the dungeon. All right, defense. Grayson's been selling. Now's your time to pick up the slack. They hand it off with a lot of space. That's not good. He's trying to get to the corner. We're almost there. Yeah, man, that's a first down. Chuck this one up to an L. Thanks to Grayson. Sad, sad day. No one likes being let down. After the loss, Sonny went back to work. He kept asking Coach Oswald to put Grayson on defense. He wouldn't oblige. Sonny was mad. Some wash him off, spin moving agility upgrades after practice, and also beef mode, this time with an F, helping out the stiffy and Sonny's strength. 8-4 finish to the year. Definitely disappointed. Sonny's always wanted a natty, and we haven't been close at all. Who else would win the Heisman? None other than Sonny Moon. Whoever voted for anyone else needs to be questioned in length, but either way, today is a happy day. Some more awards for Sonny. The Robert Maxwell Award. I think that's important. Also, the Walter Camp Award. That's neat. And finally, the Doak Walker Award for Sonny. All these will go in his room next to his Goonies poster. Last but not least, first team All-American. He's ecstatic. All this cool stuff only enhances his NIL and draft stack. Sonny's a businessman. He loves the movie Wolf of Wall Street. It thinks it was all legal. Really hope he stays away from that stuff. Yes! Tony the Tiger Bull for us to flakes time against the Wolf Pack. Both teams' offenses have sucked so far, but we do make a field goal to get on the board first. So far, I feel like an Iowa fan. Let's hope Sonny can inject some juice into this one. We take the handoff and have an opening on the left side. Sonny brilliantly cuts to the side. So elusive like Denzel in the Equalizer. Great movie. He gets back to the outside and yeah, have fun trying to catch that man. You'll need a spaceship. They're on our doorstep trying to score their first points. They run a funky thingy. We don't tackle the quarterback for some reason yet. Whoever 48 is just lost the scholarship. They scored a touchdown. Ballsy play call, but that's why we hired Coach Bourne. He has no fear. Hand out to Sonny. Come on, prove him right. Sonny gets us a first down to secure our first bowl game dub. We finally get the confetti falling for the good guys. The team is happy. Great vibes everywhere. Of course, the man of every hour, Sonny Moon, 200 yards. He's officially secured the single season rushing record. So proud. There it is, 2727. Two, 
226 for Mr. Moon. So proud of the kid. He's now etched into NCAA history. Coach Bourne used common sense to fed the beast, Sonny. 33 touchdowns. You all see the numbers. Super impressive. Such a special season. Sonny is less than a thousand yards away from the NCAA career rushing yards record. He will certainly have an interesting decision to make. Sonny spent every last second that he possibly could to make his decision. He could either declare early for the NFL draft or stay in college. Sonny weighed the decision extensively, and at the end of the day, he felt like there was too much left in the college game that he wanted to accomplish before going off to the NFL. After the shocking decision to the football world, Sonny also decided to enter the transfer portal for his final year of eligibility. There were multiple reasons for this, as we've not even really been that close to ever being in the national title conversation. Also, for some reason, Coach Oswald decided to cut Tyson Mobley, our lifelong friend from Alaska, off the roster. And the nail in the coffin was when Coach Bourne got hired to be the new head coach of Miami. Ranked as the top player ever in the transfer portal, every school was shooting their shot with Sonny Moon. And after a lot of thought and soul searching, he released the final three of Miami, USC, and Texas. Typical for Sonny, he used his 300 IQ to weigh the schools between each other until January 7th, Sonny's birthday, he was now going to decide where he would go to college for his senior season. Due to them giving Tyson Mobley a scholarship, having a great NIL program, and most importantly, the potential for a national title, Sonny was now a USC Trojan. He joins a loaded roster with a great quarterback in Miller Moss, and holy squirrels, Jalen Smith, 98 overall safety, he's good at football. Looks like Sonny's projected as the number two overall pick in the early mock draft. He's got a new pretty apartment, he just saw Johnny Depp the other day, his confidence is at an all-time high. Looks like the expectation is Sonny will win the Heisman this year, he's gotta make that a reality though, and join the exclusive club with Archie Griffin. All this cool new stuff, everyone loving up to Sonny, he had to make sure he didn't get a big head, he grinded hard this offseason, content is not in Sonny's vocabulary. No cupcakes week one, going right into enemy territory, playing the 14th ranked Aggies. At the goal line up seven, Coach Riley promised Sonny he'd get the ball here, he fulfills that promise and reaps the rewards, easy peasy touchdown. Sonny saw this play in practice and his eyes lit up, now it's time to manifest. He takes the handoff, that's not how it was supposed to happen, who cares, Sonny somehow escaped, we just shouldn't be surprised anymore, he's too good. We're in a good spot, but we haven't heard the fat lady sing yet, Coach Riley is going for the kill. Sonny gets it, instantly trucks over a defender to get us a touchdown, we shouldn't be surprised, he can squat over a thousand pounds. Yeah, this one is over, gonna make another field goal, the Aggies couldn't hang, I hope Denzel was watching. Everyone's happy post game, went into enemy territory and picked up a dominant win. Another intense road game, playing the Mormons, Sonny's played football on ice before, he's not scared. Well, Sonny isn't in, that's a bummer, we hand it off and yeah, that's a touchdown. Team's playing great, we watched Friday Night Lights last night, I think that really inspired us. Miller's standing back in the pocket, Sonny protects him as Miller throws right over a defender, whoa, I don't know how that happened, but it did. We're not in the field again, Sonny wanted some fruit snacks. Miller sits patiently in the pocket, and has forever, breaks his sack, then fumbles Miller, they pick it up, oh brother, we need a hawk to fly down and try to take the ball away from him, the odds of that are astronomically low, yeah, he's gonna score, so much for the hawk. Miller doesn't want to choke, it's time for vengeance. He drops back in the pocket, staying calm, he falls to the right side, to a wide open receiver, Sonny picks him a block, and we score a touchdown. Oh boy, Sonny's been in this situation one too many times, sitting hopelessly on the sideline. Their quarterback drops back in the pocket, we get some pass rush, and sack him, let's go, they're not calling a timeout, horrible clock management, they'll let the clock run out, no idea what they're thinking, who cares, W for us. Coach Riley can't help but laugh while shaking the opposing coach's hand, he just told him he's laughing at a joke Sonny made. Our first home game against Cal, they suck, hopefully this is a cakewalk. Well, they haven't sucked much so far, we're trailing late in the second quarter. Miller loves this play, he drives back and corks to the right side to an open Kyron Hudson, oh yes, this is very much needed, that's relief. Same score, third down situation here, really want to convert this. Miller's calm and composed, he stays patient, finds an open front in the end zone for another touchdown, that's relief. Oh boy, one of these again, thankfully Sonny can't see anything on the sideline, he's been heartbroken in these situations way too many times. The quarterback is just sitting there and throws deep, yeah, he's a step, please trip, please trip, please trip, he didn't trip. Come on, Miller, save us, our defense can't ever be trusted, we can do this ourselves. Four verts, Miller is sitting there dissecting the defense as he finds a man deep on the right sideline, yes, yes, this Kyron makes the catch, but gets brought down, we just need to make a field goal now. South Paul at kicker, they're not even trying to block it, do not ever think it, he kicks it up, oh yeah, never a doubt, let's go. The fans are loving it, they thought we were gonna choke, so did I, but we escaped with the dub. Yeah, it's joyful day, finally, they captured the crazy scientist, it only took them four years, man, good for Gilbert, he is an aged a bit. Sonny made sure to get some work in. He hasn't been a fan of the traffic here. That's been one of the side effects. He's also in constant fear because of the movie San Andreas. First drive, we're at the goal line. Just give it to Sonny and watch him score. Yep, that's what he does. Coach Riley feeds the beast once again. Sonny cuts inside and has a lane. Oh, there goes the chubby chipmunk. Great block. Sayonara. See you boys in the end zone. Defense is pitching a shutout. Man, that'd be nice for Coach Riley in real life. Miller's excited for this play call. He rubbles it in the end. So great throw. That's a touchdown. Good job, gang. They climb back to make it respectable, but this field goal puts the nail in the coffin. Success. Sonny balled out today, showing off his receiving skills as well. Just a great performance. Back in the road, playing the Huskies. Everyone's excited. Let's keep rolling. Yikes, not the performance so far we were hoping for. They sit and throw it down to the left side. Come down and tackle, boys. He cuts up, and what is happening? No chance. Okay, I, that's, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. We drove down the field in a hurry. We gotta finally get on the board. We're running the read option. Miller gives it. Sonny finds the hole, cuts it back, breaks the tackle. Oh, yeah, good job. Sonny really needed that. We storm back to take a three-point lead after Sonny's halftime speech. Ooh, the old-fashioned option, and we catch it in open field. No 
one is even close. Sonny's gonna score. Love to see it. They refuse to go away. Come on, defense. Get a stop, please. Their quarterback sits with an eternity to throw. That can't be good. Uh-oh. He's open in the end zone. Yeah, we need a score now. Second and goal. We need seven. We're in a good spot. Just can't fold. Sonny improvs his route. and gets wide open as Miller hits him in the end zone for a touchdown. Been on the wrong side of these situations way too many times. Please, defense, don't choke. Well, they ran a wide receiver screen. That wasn't the brightest Ooh. idea. We sack him and ball, ball, ball. Of course we miss it twice. They pick it up and the big man is tumbling. Ha <laughs> ha! Big man down in the end zone. Safety, safety, let's go. Sonny's really expanded his impact. Coach Riley has been feeding him in the past game as well. It's been great to see. After five games, everyone's seen what this USC team is all about, and we appear to be firmly in national title contention this season, which is happiness. Some more happiness. Upgrading spec catch and spin move. All the most important stuff is 99 already. Sonny's just getting the whipped cream and chocolate syrup now. Don't ask me. Tanner doesn't know they're one and three, but 24th in the country. Sonny doesn't care about their record. He gets the ball pitched to him. A defender attempts to bring him down. Yeah, not today, baby cakes. It's a touchdown for USC. It's their name. Antarctica, but we have Coach Riley. Sonny is confident he's got something drawn up here. Oh, yep. How is he so open? Oh, who cares? He sure doesn't have Sonny speed, but he doesn't need it. He ends up striking off two tacklers to earn his touchdown. Terrific performance so far, but we're not content. Sonny doesn't like his route. It doesn't matter anyway. Miller delivers it to Jermaine Wilson in the end zone for a touchdown. Sonny was a decoy there. Had to be. Less than a minute left. Of course, we're giving Sonny another touch. He takes the draw, sprints right through the hole into the end zone. That play was play of the game. Great victory today, guys. Sonny's a man on a mission. He goes to the walk of fame every time he's in need of motivation. It always works. He wants to be the greatest to ever play the game. Back to our whipped cream and chocolate syrup. Cherries creeps Sonny out. He'll stick to these two for now. Undefeated start of the season for us. We've had some close games, but we've stayed solid and pulled them out. After a slowish start for Sonny, he's picked it up. It's a new environment for the kid. He just needed to adapt like a T-Rex in his new home. He's back at the top of the Heisman rankings. Back home in a Pac-12 conference game, playing the Buffaloes. Think Miller is hurt, but no need to fear. Sonny is here. He takes the hand off and man, awesome blocking. That's too easy for the Alaskan sensation. Donald Mason is doing his best, patrolling the offense. We're back in their territory now. He's sitting in the pocket, waiting. The divides open. Damian Young on the right side. What a throw. Terrific play. Good job, everyone. Last play of the half. Some may just take a knee. Sonny is in some. He takes the hand out, bursts it through the hole, and cuts it to the outside. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sonny Moon. Never a smart idea to get in a foot race with a baby gazelle. He gets to the corner and has a clear pad to the end zone. He breaks a tackle. He's too determined. He's gonna get his touchdown. Still in a good spot. Our defense has done well. We hand off to Sonny. He finds the hole on the right side and cuts it up somehow. There's advantages to being short. He keeps running, then cuts to the right, breaks the tackle. Oh my gosh. Sonny Moon. It just isn't fair. He should be in the NFL. These college kids don't stand a chance. Touchdown USC. This was a great victory today without Miller. The team is around the field feeling great. Sonny has to split. True Detective just dropped a new season. Finally at the number one spot. Projected to go to the Giants now. It's a great feeling, but Sonny knows it's no guarantee. Donald's back at quarterback. He gets decked, but does hit it open. Jermaine Wilson, he's running. A man with a plan breaks the tackle. A touchdown Trojans. They're quacking along in our territory. They throw to the left side and well, balls. Trying to score a touchdown before half. Sonny's split out. He's not his ecosystem, but it's okay. He's the king of the jungle. Donald sits there eager and finds Kyron Hudson in the end zone. Great play to take a larger lead. Oh, brother. They quack back. Come on, defense. Be clutch for once. They throw to the left side, and yep, so much for that. Well, I tap square, and the game ended. Think we returned to kick off for a touchdown. I don't got a clue, but who cares? We escape with a dub over Oregon. Stanford may think they have the edge in intelligence, but little do they know. Sonny has 300 IQ. He wins that battle nine times out of ten. Well, the offense has sucked so far. That's not ideal. Donald faces pressure. It throws it immediately to Sonny, who runs, then cuts to the left. He makes two defenders run into each other. Ha <laughs> ha! Gets funny. Good job, Sonny. Just haven't found a rhythm at all in offense. I blame the weird magician we saw pregame who said he cursed us. Sonny doesn't believe in curses. He takes the give, cuts it back, and plows over a defender in the A-gap and gives a much-needed touchdown. Back at the goal line, finally in an advantageous position. Donald drops back in the pocket, doesn't like what he sees, steps up and runs. Man, I didn't know he was that fast. He should do that more. We just need to recover the onside here. No funny business. They kick it at us, and we do recover. Thank you. That's relief. We're jumping around. It's a happy day. The curse was just a plot to scare us. It almost worked, but Sonny studied witchcraft. He was never worried. After the nail-biting win, the college football world's confidence in us hasn't wavered. We have our supporters out there cheering on the good guys. And now we upgrade some read and react. Never been a fan of reading, but Sonny loves it. He can read books insanely fast. I wish I had his IQ. Play the Tigers, I think, and we're trailing. Time to change that. Donald gives it to Sonny, and he sprints through the gap into our home. At the goal line again, you know the protocol. Feed the hungry hippo. Yep, mission successful. Finally, in firm control of this game, Sonny had enough of the funny business. Donald sits around scanning. A target acquired. He rubbles into Don Jiggles for another touchdown before half. The defense has really clamped down on this bad boy. Screenplay call, and Sonny uses those mins to catch him. Burst upfield. He has a convoy, and that silly linebacker thinks he can catch us. What a goober. Can't drive without insurance. Well, legally at least, and here's our insurance to put this game away. It's a happy day. Sonny watched Mean Girls for the first time last night and took away some real life lessons. Speaking of Sonny, what a terrific game from the kiddo. Look at Sonny, he's on fire. Most times that wouldn't be a good thing, but in this case, it's great. Staying strong at the top spot. I'm like 98% sure this is some sort of rivalry game, so let's win, Sonny. In a good spot, I'd say, especially if you can make this kick. Oh, yep, yeah, right through, sweet cheeks. This was the lamest game ever. Nothing happened at all. At least we won. Everyone's acting like they won the lottery. Feel like it's a little excessive for such a boring game, but that didn't stop Sonny from playing well. 
well. Yuck, the little leprechauns, fourth and inches, no chance Sonny isn't converting this. Draw handoff, he takes it, come on, who really thought they were gonna stop Sonny there? Love these angle routes, so fun, hate geometry though, very confusing stuff. Sonny runs his route to perfection, the defense is lost, he scores us another touchdown. Well, they won't go away, sucks for them, neither will Sonny Moon, he takes it and bounces around like a kangaroo, willing his way into the end zone. Got a chokehold on this game, this is where Sonny can just milky the clock. Donald hands it off, and oh boy, there's no enemies on the right side, Sonny sees it, and let's be serious, no one can catch him once he gets those legs churning at full speed. Adios, leprechauns. We got play of the game. Always love seeing those. We also got an ancient hammer, probably from the mines or something. Sonny concludes his regular season stats with 1,600 yards. Still a good season. Just shows how absurd last year was for Mr. Moon. Playing the Huskies in the Pac-12 title game. This means more. Sonny watched Troy pre-game and found out about Achilles. He's now more worried than usual. You're not Achilles. You're Sonny Moon, you big meatball. He gets out of harm's way. Get into the left side. He sets up the blocker so he can now coast into the end zone. They battle back, but it's no cause for concern. No one is on Sonny. All out blitz and Donald sees it. Good question. I wonder if we'll ever see Miller again. Hope he's doing okay. Got control now at the goal line. Up 10. Sonny's calling for the ball. Feed him. We oblige and it couldn't be any easier for the genetic anomaly. They decided seven points was good enough. They haven't scored since. Sonny takes the handoff. Get off him, little boy. Get the weight room. Hoo hoo. He cuts out of the left. Oh boy, is it one of those runs? Oh yes it is. Sonny freaking moon, you beautiful beast. Who else would be player of the game? He wants a statue, just not next to OJ's. There we go, Coach Riley. It's a happy day. Kesha's having a concert. Sonny has tickets. This night couldn't get any better. I mean, of course we won, but somehow we got more first place votes this year compared to last year. Yeah, those voters have some explaining to do. Got the Walter Camp for a second time. That's nice. Also the Doak Walker, but that's it. Hmm, I think something's missing. What Whatevs, first team All-American yet again. Sonny said the only adopting parents he'll consider is the Obamas. The ball is in your court, Mr. and Mrs. Obama. Added first in rushing yards this year to go back to back in that category. Love it. This has to be a troll. We're playing rice. <laughs> Prepare some body bags. Third and 10 the first drive. Coach Riley has faith in us. Sonny takes it and cuts it to the left side. Breaking a tackle. Bounced around there. Breaking another tackle and then another. Oh yeah, I told you. Get the body bags ready. These Conference USA boys have no idea about Sonny Moon. It was just folklore now. It's reality. Touchdown Trojans. In their territory. Good to see Miller back at the helm. He drops back in the rain. Lays it to the right sideline. That's Kyron Hudson. What a play. We'll take that touchdown. Feeling good. This is going to plan perfectly. Sonny takes the game. And come on now. It's guaranteed at this point. Ah, good for them. Scoring points, making it respectable. Sonny has other plans. He takes the give, running out of the corner, uses his speed, and cuts it back into the end zone for a touchdown. Same scenario here, basically. Just feed the Alaskan bus. He likes what he sees on the right side. Run it through, then cuts it back. He won't stop till he gets into the end zone. Game over. Coach Riley gets lifted up in the pouring rain. Someone finds Sonny. He might be lost. There he is. Let's hear the MVP chance, man. What a game that kid had. It's so beautiful. Look at Sonny in the background. He looks so happy. Oh, man. What a sight. The final projection for Mr. Sonny is still at the number one spot. Only time will tell the Giants do decide to go that route. Drive day is here and the Giants are up at the top spot. No pressure. Don't ever think this pick. Just take the, yep, you just guaranteed yourselves 10 Super Bowls. Congratulations. So proud of Sonny. He was created with superhuman talent and he's put it to good use. Go one up, Tom Brady, Sonny. I know you can do it. Ever wonder if Tanner could win a Division II team a national title? If you want to find out, click the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.